Shan, before you leave today, I'm going to have you pour the liquid in this flask into that little beaker. It's not going to fit in that little beaker, though. Well, you wouldn't think so, but as a matter of fact, it will, I hope. How's it going to do that? Well, you'll see. Because we're going to investigate uh, a very strange form of saturation. You know what that is? No. Nope. Well, here's an example of saturation. I put some salt in here and stirred it up and let it sit, and you can see what's happened at the bottom down there? Yeah, some of it's dissolved into the water and some of it's still sitting right, in the bottom. Yeah. Now that means that the liquid is saturated because it's holding as much of the salt as possible. Now we're going to go to super saturation. So take the spoon, take some of that stuff and put it in here. That's not salt, by the way. It's Water stays dissolving. clear, and it's dissolving. You must it, need more of this to make yes, it Yes, as a matter of fact, you can put all of that in there because it's a very unusual chemical. See if I can explain it this way. Here's the sodium chloride. You recognize that, yeah, salt. salt. When you put it into water, it breaks up, and then eventually the water holds as much as possible, and the rest of it sinks to the bottom. Mm -hmm. But that other chemical is this. Sodium acetate trihydrate. Right. Here's the formula down here, mm -hmm. and notice that there's what this is right here? Water. Water. What does this little dot mean? Well, the dot means that the water is really part of the crystal. It's not chemically bound up. As the crystal forms, water, gets, water molecules get caught in there, and they part of the, they're part of the crystal. So when you heat up the crystal, it dissolves in its own water. Oh, then okay. if you let the solution cool down, and you put it into a flask, you have a supersaturated solution, which means what? That means it's holding more than it should. More, more than it should. Okay. However, look at the bottom of that little beaker. There's little tiny crystals. Yes, that's little crystals of this. So as you now pour it in here slowly, as soon as the first drop of liquid hits the crystal, it's going to start to solidify. Okay. And then slowly pour it in there, and you will see what happens with the strange solution that's supersaturated. Up, 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 up. Holy, how did that, how did it do that? Well, it's all it did that because it now it all came out of solution. Yeah, see, it's so solid. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a rock. Yeah. Notice it's warm. Yeah. yeah. What's it? Well, that's because the crystals in solution were moving around real fast because they're in a liquid form. Mm -hmm. And now when they're in solid form, you're slowing them down so the energy has to be given off somehow. Right. It's given off as heat. heat. So there you had your first experiment with a supersaturated solution changing into instant crystals.